Corporal J was off to my left, and he he had several people around him, so I couldn't really even see him in great detail. I just saw him on the on the road, just shaking. Meanwhile, Diaz was almost motionless when I saw him. All my injuries were basically on my lower half, my major injuries. And if Diaz and even Corporal J um, didn't take a lot of the shrapnel, I don't know if I'd have my legs. I was helping triage uh, Diaz after that. We had him on the, on the ground on his back. Um, I remember he was saying that he couldn't see. I'm like, well, your eyes are closed. I was trying to make a levity of the situation, uh, but he took a lot of um, road debris and, you know, he took shrapnel in his head and he road debris to the eyes. Uh, he he was pretty much, he had, he had tears of blood coming out of his eyes and that's, that's an image that sticks with me to this day is, you know, Diaz having blood, blood tears coming out of his eyes. We all got put on the, uh, the ambulance that was by the overpass. I do remember getting placed in a, basically a Humvee ambulance. Um, and that Humvee ambulance, um, myself, Corporal J and Diaz were all placed in there. And I remember the biggest, the biggest thing that they kept telling us is to keep Diaz awake. And Diaz basically stopped talking for a little bit. And Jordan kept saying, Diaz, I need you, I need you to talk. So finally, what I started to do, I started to sing and. Low place is where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away and I'll be okay. They're forcing me to learn Garth Brooks songs. I got friends in low places. And it was one of the songs that we were singing on the way. to Korean Village and I just started to sing it and I don't know it just I could hear Diaz chuckling 